Well, that was fun. I uh, got to take the water out. Somebody recently asked me if I think that the time I spend playing Minecraft is justified because it's my job. Short answer. Yeah. Medium answer, uh, kinda, but no, not really. I don't think it's justified. Long answer, uh, this playtime is probably not healthy, whether it's my job or not. My PC was connected to Hypixel Skyblock for 37% of this last year. Why are we still here? And considering I haven't posted a Hypixel Skyblock video in two years, I don't think I can call this my job. So here's a Hypixel Skyblock video, so I feel better about myself. Don't judge my lifestyle, but learn from my mistakes. It might be too late for me, but you can still save yourself. Do not start playing this game. Play this game instead. Raid Shadow Legends, another highly addictive RPG game attempting to steal my free time. And the sponsor of today's video, Raid Shadow Legends is an absolute banger mobile RPG game played by over 80 million players across the world. Collect, customize, and upgrade over 650 unique champions, PvP online, or follow quests to earn bountiful rewards. All completely free to play. Raid is by far the most immersive experience you'll find on a smartphone. It's comparable with some of the biggest PC and console titles out there. And those are my words, they didn't just pay me to say that. But they did pay me to tell you about the Raid Holiday event lasting until January 10th, 2023. Experience a new chapter of this wintry story and play a new minigame for a chance to win some amazing in-game and real-life prizes, including holiday-themed Raid Champions and even Amazon gift cards worth up to $1,000. Yeah, Raid could be paying you too. Whether you're a new or existing Raid player, you can head to 12daysofraid.plarium.com where you can find a special holiday promo code that anyone can use for a small festive gift. Not feeling very festive yet? Hey, that's fine, because Raid just released a brand new legendary champion based off of MMA and pro wrestling legend Ronda Rousey. Yes, the Ronda Rousey. No clue who that is. But nothing screams holiday cheer like pro wrestling. You can get Ronda for free just by logging into Raid right now. All you gotta do is log in and play for seven days between now and February 20th, and Ronda is yours. You can also use the code RAIDRONDA in game to get a bunch of helpful stuff like a three day 100% XP boost, 500,000 silver, and five full energy refills. Perfect for leveling up your Ronda champion, which uh, by the way, has better stats than every champion that I currently own. Jesus, look at this guy. Seriously, who is this lady? And can I make her fight Soul Drinker? You guys can click on the link in the description or use the QR code featured in the corner of this video to start playing. New players will receive a free Epic Champion, Burgus, 200,000 silver, one energy refill, one XP boost, and one ancient shard. So you can summon some awesome champions when you join. A $30 value, all for free if you use my link. These treasures will be waiting for you right here at the top button. Hope to see you guys there and a huge thank you to Raid Shadow Legends again for sponsoring this video. Now enjoy the rest of the video. I slow descent into insanity as I level my skyblock skills. All right, Right, so I'm gonna rank the seven primary Hypixel Skyblock skills based on the following criteria. Ease, enjoyability, profitability, and efficiency. Basically how quickly you can max out the skill. The average score for each skill will represent my mental health after maxing it. Let's start with farming 60. Honestly, wasn't too bad. Out of all the skills, farming probably requires the least amount of concentration and effort. Sure, building the farms is a pain, but with a builder's wand and a few days of work, you'll have a setup that lasts you as long as you play Skyblock. And if you build your farms for a one-handed setup like I did, you'll barely even have to look at your monitor. Ease, I'd say 10 out of 10. A because farms are such a pain to build initially, I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10. Enjoyability. Now, it's not exactly entertaining or interesting to stare at numbers on a screen go up, but farming is somewhat satisfying to listen to. And Jacob's contests make things a little bit more interesting. Hypixel somehow found a way to make even farming competitive, and I'm all about it. It's a low-stress activity with satisfying noises and mildly competitive elements, despite being the most antisocial task in the game, which I'll add another point for. Who needs a social life? 7 out of 10 on enjoyability for me. Oh, and by the way, I didn't actually blow up my farms. I still use them from time to time occasionally. Profitability. Now, I could be wrong about this, but from what I can tell, farming is up there with some of the most profitable activities in Skyblock, at least for early to mid-game players. Assuming you earn gold medals in every Jacob's Contest, you can make around 12 million an hour depending on the crops you're farming and the gear and pets you're using. Plus, it's a pretty stable money-making method. You don't have to worry about RNG drops or other players f***ing with you while you grind. 7 out of 10 for profitability. Efficiency. Using a max farming hoe with cultivating 10, a level 100 rabbit pet, a farming XP boost 3 potion, a booster cookie XP buff, and a yellow abacase talisman. You can earn around 10 to 12,000 farming XP per minute. Farming 60 requires about 111 million total XP, which means it would take around 186 hours to reach farming 60 using that setup. Maybe faster depending on the crop you farm. It could literally be done in a couple of weeks if you have the proper gear and dedication. For me though, it took uh, two and a half years. Mostly because... Back in my day, we farmed with an efficiency 5 gold axe. We didn't have all those fancy farming tools and XP boosts. Um... 
six out of 10. It would be higher, but I maxed my farming skill before they added all that shit and I'm kind of salty about it. So farming 60 overall score, 7.25 out of 10. My mental health was in pretty good shape after that one. My social life was a different story, but I'll get to that. Next we got mining 60. At the very start of Skyblock, before the Dwarven Mines and the Crystal Hollows, I was actually one of the very first people on the server to uh, not give a shit about my mining skill like easily top 10 in terms of total lack of interest. I mean, I spent plenty of time in my cobble generator, but that was more for grinding coins than for XP. Cobblestone was my only source of mining XP for a couple of years. That and whatever XP I got from my mining minions, which I only ever used to max out my collections. But then they released. Once again, I wasn't very interested, at least not at first. It took me a few months to even bother with the Dwarven Mines after it released. When I did finally try it though, tight, 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 yeah! Blue, yellow, pink, whatever, man, just keep bringing me that. Instantly addicted. I went from mining 25 to mining 60 in a matter of a month or two after that. Let's talk about why, starting with ease. You have my full attention and interest if I can complete a task using just one hand. That goes for real life too. This hand has seen some shit. But all you gotta do is stand in a spot, mine this mithril, and occasionally move to redeem your commission rewards. 8 out of 10 for ease. Enjoyability. I very much enjoyed the grind of Mining 60. Some people find it boring, but I liked it. There's just so much to do in the Dwarven Mines. Commissions, forging, events, a unique customizable leveling tree, mobs that when killed give shit that makes all of that easier and faster. It's fun as f and hits my dopamine receptors in just the right way. Mining rarely felt monotonous, and honestly didn't even really feel like mining in the classical sense at all. 9 out of 10 on enjoyability. Profitability. Now I know gemstone mining is like the best way to make coins in Hypixel Skyblock at the moment, but I hit mining 60 long before the Crystal Hollows was released. I think I was making around 6 to 8 million per hour towards the end of my grind. That was just from like mithril. Nothing crazy, so 6 out of 10. Efficiency. Mining was actually the very first skill I maxed out. Hard to say if it was faster than farming 60, but it sure felt like it. 8 out of 10. As a throwback to my mining origins in Hypixel Skyblock, I mined one last block in my basic cobblestone generator to hit the mark. What a comeback story for the mining skill. Overall rating, 7.75 out of 10. Wood mining again. All right, combat. Not much to say about this one, actually. I didn't really grind my combat skill much. It just leveled up slowly over time as I played until I eventually hit 60. Most of the content in Hypixel Skyblock is combat related, so maxing this skill is inevitable if your life is as sad as mine is. However, ease, I'm gonna give a 3 out of 10, because consciously grinding combat is not simple. Not only do you need to use two hands, which is far beyond the level of effort I'm willing to put into anything, but you need some seriously expensive gear to kill the mobs that would actually give decent XP. Combat on Hypixel Skyblock is fast-paced and requires unbroken focus in most situations. I can only do it in short bursts, usually no longer than an hour or so before I get mentally drained. So yeah, 3 out of 10. Although it's a pretty great time when I'm in the mood for it. So enjoyability, 10 out of 10. The RNG element of combat offers an unrivaled level of excitement far above every other skill. Whether I was farming zealots, completing slayer quests, or participating in events, I was always highly engaged and having a great time. Combat is definitely the most enjoyable thing about Hypixel Skyblock to me, and it never felt like a grind, except for dungeons. Honestly, not a fan. I got to Catacombs 24 so I could use a Hyperion, then Never did another run, but I hit combat 60 long before I ever played dungeons, so still 10 out of 10. Very enjoyable. Profitability. So as far as I know, the most profitable way to grind combat is to play dungeons. Since I barely played dungeons on my combat 60 grind, you might think that my profitability score would be low, but I'm actually going to give this a 10 out of 10 as well, because despite the minimal profit from RNG drops and random mob loot, I made f***ing bank using these slime minions. I figured out that these dudes could make 10 million plus coins a day in profit while AFKing with a magma cube pet. And keep in mind, that was back in 2020 when 10 million coins actually meant something. Something. Somehow for over a year, that money making method remained almost completely unknown. By the time I hit combat 60, I was in the top 50 players for slime collection with hundreds of millions in the bank. Combat was very profitable for me. Efficiency. I assume it doesn't take long to level combat with some concerted effort and a little carpal tunnel syndrome, but I have no idea how long it actually took me to get to 60, since my approach was more casual and passive. I'm just gonna guess and say that it was faster than farming 60, but probably slower than mining 60. 7 out of 10 on efficiency. Bringing my overall combat rating to 7.5 out of 10. 10. My mental health was still in good condition after this one. Don't worry, that's gonna change soon. Disclaimer, the following content contains heavy swearing. Viewer discretion is advised. Foraging is simple in theory. Walk around, chop trees, get XP, right? Well, you'll also need to... <sighs> Maximize your speed to move around as quickly as possible. Equip a level 100 ocelot pet for more XP. Drink a haste 3 potion to break logs instantly. Use a tree capitator to break whole trees instantly. Avoid using your tree capitator on single logs, ruining the 2 second ability cooldown, which happens more often than not. 
race several other players to each new tree, try to break it before them, fail 30% of the time, stand idly waiting for new trees to grow because the only trees worth chopping are located on the smallest f***ing island in the park, get lagged back, stuck in blocks, and flooded with endless unwanted items including mushrooms, flowers, saplings, apples, and showers of charcoal from idiots who decided it would be funny to put smelting touch on their goddamn axes. All for minimal amounts of XP and some shitty logs worth less than a million coins. It never ends, and nothing ever changes. There are no events, no cool foraging setups, no useful items unlocked in the collection, and to state the obvious, no leveling tree. How is there a mining tree, but no f***ing foraging tree? You get one pet that you're bound to for life here in the park, which only serves to make all of this f***ery slightly less utterly exhausting. When you finally give up fighting what feels like the slowest possible agonizing death, you'll head to your island, where you'll plant an entire rainforest in the hopes of ending this nightmare. Or maybe you'll use your foraging minions, only to find out that dealing with this motherfucker is still somehow more efficient. F*** you, f*** this portal I keep accidentally touching, and f*** foraging. Good riddance. 4 out of 10. I used purple jerry boxes to get foraging 50. So these are my skill rankings as of right now. If I add up my rank for each of the seven primary skills, divide that by seven, I get my overall skill ranking on the server, which is 1012. This isn't just a flex, by the way. I'm uh, genuinely concerned for my own mental health and uh, concerned for the thousand plus other people who have spent more time than me playing Skyblock. My thoughts and prayers are going out to those people. And if you're one of them, I want you to know you can get 5% off in the Hypixel store with code the original ace. So this is part one of two. In the next video, I'm gonna cover fishing, enchanting, alchemy, and everything else I've accomplished in my nearly 12,000 hours of playtime. You better believe I'll be flexing in that video, but not in a cocky, obnoxious kind of way. It'll be more of a pitiful, cautionary tale about the dangers of getting too invested in this game. Stay tuned, and in the meantime, check out my Hypixel Skyblock playlist on the left. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, keep it fresh.